Welcome Survivor! Today is going to be confusing. Well, actually, I will try to clear up the confusion if you're confused. And if you're not confused, you surely will be. So as you subscribe to my channel, do it now! Do tell me below in the comment section whether you are in the camp of confused that's now clear or whether you were clear and are now confused. I aim for both. This weekend comes with a flurry of activity from the Fumpims, pushing out not one, but two hotfixes to the 1.0 experimental branch, and in doing so, sets the stage for confusion. But let's go easy on you and me and start with the simpler things. We will call this the Zombie Bear update because it does come with the new Zombie Bear model, which is cool, and actually a regular model as well. Right up! There is a warning that in the 3.16 version that the next version... You have to take note of this, that they are deprecating the existing pregens. Keep this in mind. So you have to take a certain amount of steps if you want to continue using these pregens in the future, in the next update after 3.16. Get this done. Then we get to the added stuff. There is some new audio, some new POI tiles, and more importantly, new bear and zombie bear models let's have a look here you'll see i really like this zombie bear that one looks awesome it looks gross and of course the regular model that they've reskinned <laughs> i mean unskinned um, i mean whatever there's also a small baby bear that i think they've basically taken the big one they're very acrobatic as you can see and interesting the bears and the zombie bears don't seem to fight hmm wonder why and a bunch of changes here most importantly is that the dogs wolf grace and the bears now drop loot bags so if you kill a zombie bear like this or regular bear you'll see that hey there's a bunch of things in here and you will notice he's been an avid reader well maybe he ate a few adventurers on the way to his lair i do think that the loot table needs fixing it just I mean, sorry, it doesn't make sense. I kill a zombie bear and I get some ammo. What, are they still stuck in him? And some, I uh, ate some books and he ate some forged steel. Wonderful. Yes, I get it. They're trying to make it worthwhile to kill these things, but uh, no. You know, if you if you have a... Let's assume you ate up uh, an adventurer. Give some armor or something. Or give some scrap of cloth or some bandage. Something. But a book? I mean, doesn't that di get digested in his stomach? And they also fixed a bunch of issues such as the death on respawn from damage on ragdoll. Whatever that means. I know people have been complaining that they jump or ragdoll and they die. I don't know if this is actually linked to that. Or that the dead zombies still play their pain sounds when hit. I mean, they are dead. Unless we consider them alive or maybe strictly undead. So far so good, right? No, no, no. I suspect that 316 had some critical bugs and thus necessitating a quick 317 update. What is peculiar is that the B317 seems to be compatible with, with 316 servers. Without updating my 316 server, people on 317 are still able to play. So maybe it's only a client side patch? Except there are a bunch of things in 317 that I would have thought require the server to update. What's even more peculiar is that when 317 dropped, they went back and added another big feature to 316. But is it in 316? Is it in 317? Was it not here originally or was it in and they have forgotten to include it in the change log? Beats me. The change involves the shared quest progression, which people have been asking for. What it means after this 316 or 317, one of them, the first three quests per day in your team will still count towards your tier completion, and that really will help squads. It was really dumb before that, let's say you were in a 5 player team, you had to run a total of 50 quests, 10 each, before everyone had their tier up to 10 and would get rewarded. So this is a big change, it really will help that team play. But wait! In 316 it said that the next version would deprecate the maps, yes it said so, apparently this was scrapped. This update, the 317 update, does not delete the pregens yet. I would still go ahead, follow the steps if you want to keep playing it because who knows, better safe than sorry. Beyond that, 317 comes with some trader tweaks. 
there's a change in the screamer spawning and I think maybe this could have been one of the reasons why they ended up pushing out 317. There seems to have been a crash during boot up when you're playing on Windows 7. But who uses Windows 7 still? Still, maybe that's the reason why they had to reissue a patch really quickly. While I do expect multiple experimental versions, it would be nice to get some transparency as to why you get a hotfix coming on another hotfix. I mean, what broke so critically that it had to be immediately patched? Let us know. As they say, that's all folks, we're drawn closer to the 1.0 release. I mean, the real 1.0 release, not the alpha 1.0 release. And of course, console. See you next time.